What's up, YouTube fam? It is early in the morning. It's like 7.30 right now, and I just pulled the overnight, overnighter, not sleep. <laughs> Last alignment video I posted, I slept for two hours. I'm just not a morning person. For some reason, these alignment shops want you there in the morning, and they probably don't start on your car until later on in the day. But, um... Yes, you heard it right. This is my second alignment video. I just do not feel comfortable with what that shop did. I just want to make sure everything's accurate on this uh, car, especially with the new control arms and it pulling a little bit to the right and me having new tires on the car, I don't want them to wear unevenly, you know? So I'm gonna take it to the second shop, even though my client, which is a car guy, and he's a mechanic too, recommended this shop from the very beginning. Me, I was being too, too impatient. So I took it to the nearest shop without doing any research, and this is what I ended up. I'm ended up paying more now for alignment. So if you're watching this video, make sure, if you're gonna get alignment done, make sure you take someone that knows what they're doing, cause I'm doing more research. There's so much online scams with alignment. So make sure you do your research. We're gonna go there now. Hopefully this is my final alignment because I cannot take any more spending money on alignment. It's like a buck fifty, hundred and fifty every time you get alignment done and it really depends on what shop is doing your alignment. It could be a lot more. So I'm spending over close to four hundred dollars now on two alignments. So but that's my fault. So let's head there now. Hopefully uh, they can get it done quick because it's far away and I brought my scooter so I'll just scooter around. I have a friend that lives pretty close by that I could just uh, hang out at his place until the car is done. Hopefully they get it done today. We'll see. All right guys, I'm just arriving as you can see. All the race cars. They got BF, CRXs. Bunch of hatchbacks. So I'm gonna pull in, and then uh, I guess I'll 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 um I'll catch you guys when I come back. All right, guys, it's the very next day. I got my car back. I even got photos of the alignment sheet or whatever they, they they're supposed to show you that the, the the shop that previously did my alignment didn't show me. So I'll put it up here on the screen somewhere. I don't even know what the numbers mean. The guy that worked on my car did explain to me. There was also some difficulties with uh, loosening up one bolt. And I think that's why the, the, the first shop didn't even touch it because they couldn't. He said he uh, went the extra mile and got the bolts to loosen up. And they were able to adjust the camber and the tow angle. So I'll show you guys how the camber looks now. Big difference. You can even tell right away when you look at it. So let's go outside and check that out real quick. Driver's side, you can see the poke on the tire is really balanced on this side. And this is the side that we had issues with. The camber was in way too much. And you can see now, they both look similar. The toe angle is so much better now. The toe angle on this side. Make this quick, I'm not trying to get hit by these cars on the road. I mean, just looking at the car from outside, you can tell how even the alignment is. And it makes me feel way better now that I seen a sheet with numbers on it. Like I said in the beginning, I don't really understand what numbers I'm looking for, but the tech that worked on my car, I wouldn't call him a tech, I would call him a mechanic because he was the owner of the place, which makes me feel better. Tons of race cars outside the shop, knowing they do a lot of alignment for, you know, autocrossing, stuff like that. But, and the guy that worked on my car had a 335i a couple years ago. But I'm happy with how the car drives now. I feel more secure that I'm going to be driving, you know, thousand miles down the road. And my tires will wear evenly and not bald prematurely. So, 
making this video to let you guys know make sure you do your research before you take your car to any random shop especially you know some mom and pops uh, shops don't specialize in you know advanced alignment and things like that he was telling me like some people just do the bare minimum just get the car straight they're not gonna make it perfect so I'm just gonna leave it as that I'm just happy I got a second opinion and got it straightened out anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this video until the next video